Well, turning to other news now, a teenage boy died in a shootout with a man accused of holding several people hostage inside a convenience store. It happened at a business off of Scott Street on Houston's south side. ABC 13 reporter Charlie Etsidy had a chance to speak with an employee who was among the hostages. And Charlie, does it look like this boy was just trying to protect people and thought maybe he could step in? You know, that's what we're hearing from the clerk who says that he was inside of the store at the time of all of this. It happened at the Greenlight food, food Store here on the south side. Now, according to the clerk, he says the suspect came into the store trying to get some juice before at some point something set him off and caused him to pull out two guns, eventually shooting and killing that 17-year-old. I've been working in stores like this for years, like five, six, seven years, but I never had experience like that. Johnson was working inside the Greenlight food store on Houston's south side just before 10 o'clock last night when he found himself a hostage. He says a man walked in to buy some juice and ended up pulling out guns. He didn't want to rob, he didn't ask for no money, and he just want to like kill people, stuff like that. According to investigators with HPD, the suspect held eight people inside the store hostage and the motive right now unclear, yelling at them to lock the doors and get on the ground. Johnson says at one point the suspect was up on the counter. Call the police. He's telling everybody to call the police. A 17-year-old saw what was happening. His friends were inside, according to the clerk. That teen had a pistol and pointed it at the suspect, who then fired, hitting the teen in the chest. Shots were also fired towards the other hostages, who then ran out. It's unclear if anyone else was hit. But he didn't have to do that. He's trying to help the people inside, but... Officers arrived on scene, and the teen was rushed to the hospital where he died. As for the suspect, he surrendered when police showed up. Well, yeah, he put the two guns on the floor. He, he, he lay on the floor. And he was like, I didn't do nothing. Yeah. And as for the suspect, the clerk says that he had never seen this person before, and we are waiting for HPD to identify the suspect. As for the victim in this situation, who has not been identified officially by police, the clerk says that he did recognize the victim and says that he had been coming to the store for quite some time.